for nine, six and five. They beat Cal State LA in Malibu on Monday. A little mistiming of the opening tip. Carson Basham jumping against Bernardo da Silva. The opening tap controlled by the Bows. Aaron George with the ball fake. <laughs> Stay on the floor. He's already biting at the pump take, and the game hasn't even started. Bernardo Silva lost the handle. Here comes Pepperdine racing out. Houston Millette will back it away. Both teams mostly man to man. They will not overextend or gamble much. Just solid defense, pressure on the ball, good help side on the weak side. Mike Mitchell Jr. at the ball stripped. Here come the Rainbow Warriors. Noel Coleman looks to attack. On McClanahan from deep, and it rims out and goes back in. And McClanahan held the follow through. We got a lot of confidence in that shot, and he's an important playmaker who can knock down shots. Here is Maxwell Lewis gliding through the lane. The rebound, Samuta Avea. Here's McClanahan darting to the basket as it knocked out of bounds by Maxwell Lewis. McClanahan. Aggressive early, he only averages six points a game. Most of the offense from the perimeter comes from Noel Coleman, but he's showing that burst of speed. The interesting matchup in this game for me, Tim, is Pepperdine's three-point shooting against Hawaii's three-point defense because they're each one of the best in the country at that. As Pepperdine shoots their threes over 40% on the year, and Hawaii in the top 30 in the country defending the three. Hawaii really does a good job defending the three because they don't overextend, but they make sure and they don't overhelp on ball side off shooters. Used to the lens, the miss, and the loose ball knocked away out of bounds last touch by Javon Porter for Pepperdine. And it belongs to the Rainbow Warriors. Lorenzo Romar, his second tour of duty in Malibu, which is a nice place to go back to. His eighth overall in Pepperdine, of course, 15 years at Washington, where he's a three-time Pac-12 coach of the year. And Lorenzo Romar really has brought some young talent to Malibu in the Pepperdine campus. Well, he played a lot of young talent a year ago, and they paid for it, but it's going to be a big benefit this year because they got a lot of experience with a lot of talent. Here's Bernardo De Silva. Tries to go baseline against Carson Basham, and it rolls off to the weak side tip by Kamaka Hepa. That's where Kamaka Hepa has improved his game. He's not just a three-point shooter like he was at Texas. He is physical in the lane. He can drive it, and he can also rebound it. Everdine looking to get on track. Maxwell Lewis you see the athleticism, and De Silva clears it for the Rainbow Warriors. They throw it right back to Pepperdine out of bounds. Now you see how Maxwell Lewis can get to the rim with either hand. He's so silky smooth and quick, but also the ability to elevate and finish at the rim. Aron Ganax, 2016 Big West Coach of the Year's eighth season here at the University of Hawaii over in Honolulu. And Campus here in Manoa. Former assistant at St. Mary's to Randy Bennett. There's Maxwell Lewis at pinballs home for Pepperdine's first point. Wasn't open. They did a good job of contesting, not letting him get all the way to the rim, but just that length allowed him some space over the top. Nice cut to the basket, Noel Coleman. A loose ball picked up by Javon Porter. Why usually has very good spacing. That time they were a little tight on ball side. Porter just a little too out far in front of Houston Millette. Looking for that backdoor lead. And Porter the turnover. And you look at this lineup for Pepperdine. We talked about their youth. Houston Millette sophomore. Mike Mitchell Jr. sophomore. Javon Porter freshman. Maxwell Lewis sophomore. And Carson Basham sophomore. So all five starters are under class. Javon McClanahan, missing the three Houston Millette clears for Pepperdine. Not sure, I'm not gonna like that shot by McClanahan. Three guys in this Pepperdine team on the West Coast Conference all freshman team last year, including Lewis, missed the step back three with Houston Millette and Mike Mitchell Jr. Kamaka Hepa, Noel Coleman launching. Coleman a three, as Coleman had a career high 31 of the Diamond Head last year.
last year against Vanderbilt. Well, Lorenzo Romer not happy with that defense. Didn't get back set, and you've got to find Coleman early. Good start for the Rainbow Warriors. A couple of threes. They're up six. Houston Millett back and down the turnaround. Carson Batchum on the offensive glass. Wave off the shot. A foul on the floor against Hawaii. Hawaii is a system offensive team, but if you don't get back, they will push it up the sideline. And here, Pepperdine does not go on the floor, which made their defense not organized. And it was wide open on the other end for Mullins, and that was easy for him. And Jay Mullins, a lights-out shooter, better than 50% from three on the year, as Houston Millett fouled on a three by Noel Coleman. And Houston Millett will head to the stripe to shoot three for Pepperdine. Not, not, not happy with that call. Thought Millett kind of kicked his feet out to draw the contact. So Millett, 81% for the line. He has made a Pepperdine record three-pointer in 37 consecutive games coming into tonight. And the 6'5 guard, who's originally from the Bay Area in Alameda, then finished up high school down in Southern California because his dad, Wes Millett, is the athletic director at UC Riverside, which is in the Big West Conference with Hawaii. Well, it's interesting, though, what Lorenzo Romar does to free up Millett for his threes. They kind of run a lot of misdirection of run on the baseline. He's got such a quick release that you've got to be on top of him as soon as he catches it. It's all three. Pepperdine just one for six from the floor. Samuta Avea. The Kamaka has but broken up by Javon Porter. Racing up the floor is Mike Mitchell Jr. Mitchell, his dad, was a standout running back for Stanford. Mike Mitchell from the Bay Area played at Archbishop Mitty High School, which is the same high school that produced Aaron Gordon. And the reverse lay-in for Carson Basham pulls Pepperdine within one. Well, you can see Pepperdine very schooled offensively with the spacing, ball movement, and then on the overplay, the backdoor cut and the extra pass. Here is Noel Coleman drives. Ten to shoot for the Bows. Makahepa. And that'll be a turnover against Hawaii as Pepperdine's defense not giving the Rainbow Warriors a look. Well, that's got to really please Lorenzo Walmart because when you look at breakdown Pepperdine, they can score. 47% from the floor, average almost 80 points a game. But it's been their defense, giving up 74 a game. That, on that possession, though, good activity, good rotations, and active hands. Now, Lorenzo Romar's team has the disadvantage of playing the only road game in the first day of the tournament because we're on Hawaii's home floor. Everybody else playing a neutral side game. It's Mike Mitchell Jr. missing a three. And here comes Hawaii on the push. A couple of subs in the game for the Bows. Beyond Riley has played very well lately for Iran Ganon. Into the basket, Kamaka Hepa is fouled by the USC transfer, Bubakar Kulabali. Pepperdine has been very physical defensively with Hawaii so far. And some nights Hawaii doesn't like to be play in a physical game. They like, they're a system offensive team. They, they like a little bit of freedom of movement. Pepperdine's been physical, but Hawaii is answered. One more for Hepa's only a 55% foul shooter. He is a much better shooter than that. As he is shooting 40% from three. And Hepa, an interesting story. Two times he was the Alaska Gatorade player of the year and also won it in the state of Oregon as a senior in high school. As he bounced around, his family from Hawaii. In fact, his dad, Roland, is from Kauai. As Hepa hits both. And, but spent a lot of his formative years in the most northern town in the United States. Just what was formerly Barrow, Alaska. And I'm going to butcher the name of how you say it. But Uglavik, Alaska. The sun doesn't hang too long in that town in the winter. Away by Beyond Riley. West 
Now the Houston will with it. And the baseline spinning in the fadeaway. Lewis with the bucket for Pepperdine. Well, he just shot over Jackson down low at 6-5 over the 6-1 guard. And so Lorenzo Roma does a nice job. And he'll put Lewis in a lot of good spots on the floor where he can take advantage of mismatches. Post on Jan Zedek of Pepperdine. And that's the second team foul against the Waves. Jan Zedek, the son of former NBA big man George Zedek, who played for Jim Herrick and won a national championship with UCLA in 1995 when Lorenzo Romar was an assistant. Jim Herrick and the connection there with the Zedek family and Jan coming to play for Lorenzo after dad. Played with him at UCLA is a three for Kamaka Heppa. You see Kamaka Heppa much more comfortable out on the perimeter than he is at the free throw line. Just a good catch and shoot. Malik Moore in the game for Pepperdine. The lob for Rubikar Kulabali. And he stepped on the end line, a turnover by the Waves. Well, Pepper does a good job of moving without the basketball. You see, he starts on the outside. They do a little pin-down screen. He just flashes out to the wing, and that size, really difficult to defend if you're not right up on his shoe tops on the catch. Justice Jackson running the point now for Hawaii and Aran Ganon. Hepa steps out. Kamaka Hepa already with 10. Really good stuff, and he puts his players in the best spots on the floor. That's the identical play they ran on the previous three, just on the opposite side of the floor. Jan Zedek backing down and draws the foul on Kamaka Hepa. He did a good job. He did have terrific low post position, but he just kind of forced his way and used that strong upper body to draw the foul from Hepa. Two shots for Zedek. 6'9", senior from the Czech Republic. He's absolutely the old man on this team. He's playing with a bunch of younger guys out there on the floor, and he just, he's in there using him off the bench now as, as they're starting Porter at that five spot, but he is invaluable as a guy that can make plays on the offensive end, but defend down on the other side. And it's a new role for Jan Zedek because he was a starter last year, average 14 points per game. But coming off the bench this year with the emergence of Basham and Porter and the young talent that Romar has is Noel Coleman to the bucket. Coleman just terrific with both hands, just takes his time with his head up and found that little angle in the lane. Mike Mitchell in the key for Pepperdine. First points for Mitchell. Averages 11 and a half a game. Bows lead it by six. Eon Riley powers his way in the baseline, but he stepped on the end line. No, a foul called on Pepperdine first. It's going on the Waves and Mitchell. Here with the jacket. Good job never ends for. <laughs> athletic administrators Worry about getting Texas the tennis coach and the volleyball coach Got a lot to worry about Hawaii by six terrific start offensively is Hawaii is four for five from three well, Coleman makes it five for six from downtown for the Rainbow Warriors. Well, that was good defense by Pepperdine, but better offense by Noel Coleman. You just got to take a little step back because you're worried about him on the dribble drive. He created space and just lifted up. Largest lead for UH. Maxwell Lewis. The window and in the spin the opposite way. It's easy to get it off when you're that talented and you're allowed that third step that he took. A little step through. Knocked away by Kulabali, recovered by Kamaka Hepa. 
Those are seven for 11 from the floor is foul on the drive and Coleman is bumped by Malik Moore and Pepperdine, the freshman from Ventura, California. Well, that's why it's so difficult to guard the Mark Coleman. I mean, you have to figure out what you're going to give up. You, first of all, you've got to try to push him out his, out his comfort level and deny him the ball because if you let him catch it on a three-point line, you got to make your decision. Are you going to guard him tight? If you do, he tries to blow by. If you guard him loose, he'll elevate for the three. It's funny. We were singing the praises of Pepperdine's three-point shooting. They're 0 for 2 from three. And talk about Hawaii's defense from three. Again, after the miss by Justice Jackson, Rainbow Warriors are now five for seven from three. One thing that won't change is Hawaii and their ability just to guard the three. Pepperdine's going to have to make some difficult ones. Kept his foot down, even though the crowd wanted to travel. There's a the reverse spin again. That's twice that Maxwell Lewis has gone to that. Well, how do you defend him? Because he's so good with both hands and so long and rangy, but also a terrific ball handler. Shot clock inside 10. Noel Coleman steps into a three. Count the basket, but then there's a foul out to the made bucket against Hawaii. Well, we're just saying this and discussing about how you defend Noel Coleman. The first thing, you absolutely cannot let him catch the ball in a sweet spot on the perimeter because you see he hesitates. He gets the defender to back up, so he gives himself some room for the open shot. So the made shot by Coleman, who's got 11 points now, but then more sec. The freshman from Senegal for Hawaii was called for the foul after the main bucket, who got tangled up underneath. Mike Mitchell turns the corner and the high teardrop floater. Great body control in the lane, but really good spacing allowing him to find some free area in the lane. And over the seven foot one, more sec. On the drive, Jovan McClanahan tries to split a double team, and it's punched out of bounds by Maxwell Lewis. Four on the shot clock. Four. What? Well, Lewis is only six seven, but you see that wingspan. And that ability and the timing come from the weak side. Just to beat the five count. Kamaka Hepa fade away in the baseline. And the rebound grabbed by Carson Basham outlines to Malik Moore. Moore across the key. And the rebound grabbed by Samuta Avea. Hepa open. Makes Pepperdine pay. They left the ball to him. Well, as we used to tell our teams, only one guy can score on the floor. The guy <laughs> with the ball. Don't leave the ball. Mike Mitchell tries to answer. Samut Vea grabs the rebound. with the patience from Hawaii. They don't force anything. No, their system is rock solid. They're not going to force things. Even if you make them feel uncomfortable, they're going to stick with their system. And Ron Gannat, coach of the Bows, longtime assistant to Randy Bennett at St. Mary's. You see the Randy Bennett influence with Hawaii and the way they play, but also worked here as an assistant for Riley Wallace back in the day as Maxwell Lewis knifes through the key. Well, everybody in the building knows what he's going to do. He's going to cross over. He's going to get you leaning one way and get to the rim the other. But it's easier to talk about it than defend it. And well, Coleman, he's got 13. So Coleman and Hepa combined 
for 26 of the Rainbow Warriors, 29 points. Well, Coleman dribbles, dribbles, but doesn't over dribble. He just is dribbling to find an angle quickly. Maxwell Lewis. And the rebound, Bernardo da Silva, native of Brazil for UH. Mutavea down the lane, the scoop. First points for Avea. Avea did it with strength, did it with quickness. And their defense has been special. It is the most wonderful time of the year. And how about for the Rainbow Warriors, Noel Coleman, Kamaka have have combined for 26 of the 31. The rest of the team, five points. I mean, for the most part, their shots have been contested and under duress, but they are very talented offensively. Maxwell Lewis lost the handle. Kamaka Hepa picks it up for the Rainbow Warriors. And he nearly carried it, had the presence of mind just to grab it. Justice Jackson. Shot clock winding down. And the three-pointer is blocked by Porter. That's a shot clock violation committed by Hawaii. Well, good job by Javon Porter just to understand where the shot clock was. You know, everyone talks about the offense being aware of the shot clock, but the defense has to be aware as well on a late shot, late clock situation. And Javon Porter, the freshman. From Columbia, Missouri, his older brother, Michael Porter Jr., who played at Mizzou. Now with the Nuggets in the NBA, is Houston Millette the turnaround for Pepperdine. Millette using that 6'5 frame to shoot right over the top of Justice Jackson at 6'1. Pass from Jovan McClanahan over and back as Hepa goes to get it. And a turnover committed by Hawaii, which will not make the run get out happy. It's back to back turnovers. Well, McClanahan's getting into Hepa a little bit about maybe getting open, but that was his fault that he just threw the ball up in the air going backwards. You've got to go north south, not south north. This game, Sam, there's a really good flow, rhythm, the way both teams are running their offense well, tonight. Both teams are very skilled offensively. They pass the ball well, they move it well, they space the floor well, and they have a lot of good finishers in the lane. Tough fadeaway from Javon Porter, the rebound grabbed by Samuta Avea for the pose. Yeah, Pepperdine, their last game, they won on Monday at home in Malibu. They made 38 field goals. They have 31 assists of 38 made buckets. Well, Lorenzo Romar is a just a seasoned offensive coach. Going back to his teams at Washington. Always fun to watch on the offensive end. Five to shoot. Yvonne McClanahan. Turnaround by McClanahan who gets inside. Good job by McClanahan. Did not a lot of space in there, but that's a little fadeaway in the lane. Houston Millette launching. Carson Basham tries to tip it, but Noel Coleman comes away with it for the Rainbow Warriors. Hawaii continues just to get out on the shooters with a high hand. Those are things that Hawaii has done over the years under Ron Gannon. They've really defended the three-point line well as Bernardo De Silva's hammered inside to get to the line. Hawaii with a strong streak. And he's taking some time away. He'll be back. I can't wait to see Bobby. He's, I've become good friends with Bobby over the years, and I wish him the best, and it's just not the same with him. Not here, and I can't wait to see him back here inside the Stan Sheriff Center as Bernardo da Silva at the line for UH. Well, I've learned a lot from you already since I've been here a few days, Roxy, but what I've really has been amazing that I, I've discovered that you're the pseudo-mayor of Honolulu. <laughs> It may 
myself very welcome over here. Why wouldn't you? Look at the, the bosses are to keep sending me. There's no way in heck I'm saying no. Samut Devan picks up the loose ball. Yovan McClain had thought about it. What he by 11 and matches their largest lead. A good decision by McClanahan. Just kind of settle things in, run their stuff. There, who missed the last two seasons, still trying to find his rhythm for Ranganad UH with the miss, and here comes Pepperdine. Open is Porter. And it rims off for Javon Porter. And it's cleared by Hawaii. Some reason why he got miscommunicated on the matchups, but Porter couldn't make him pay. Porter is a pretty good shooter out there as the spin, and then the block shot, but a foul against Javon Porter of Pepperdine. And Jovan McClanahan, Bay Area native, will head the line. Twin brother Jaden had a big win the other day. Jaden plays for Utah Valley. They went to Eugene and knocked off Oregon. Well, the upsets continue, if you can even call them upsets when you... Some of the games, it, it, Tim, it's been crazy, some of the results that we've seen. Eastern Illinois was a 31 and a half point underdog to Iowa in one. I don't think that's ever been seen. Well, how about USF? USF Dons. Lose at home to Texas Arlington. And two nights later, they turn around and pummel a ranked Arizona State team 97 to 60. And then Cal, who had been winless the same day that USF hammered Arizona State, they get their first win against that UTA team. Well, that's what's been impressive about this tournament today is that these kids, these players, I call them kids, whatever, these student athletes are focused on winning. They've, everyone's played hard today. It's been really good games. Two out of the first three have been terrific. Sometimes at Christmas you don't get that type of product because the kids are, the players' heads are all over the map, and that's why sometimes you get some, some wacky results. And lead play is about to get in the full swing. Shot clock winding down. Pepperdine's been scoreless for almost three and a half minutes. Jan Zedek missing the step back. Jovan McClanahan clears for Hawaii. Why, real good defensively. Just staying within their system. They never overextend. Well, Coleman penetrates. Up and under. What a move by Noel Coleman. Both Coleman and McClanahan doing a lot of work right at the rim with the bigs in their face. And a reach in by Jovan McClanahan. No, they're calling it actually not on McClanahan. This is what Iran gonna teach is play off two feet, have a lot of space on the inside, and they are attacking Javon Porter, getting him to lift up off the floor and overcommit. The second on Kamaka Hepa, so Ron Gannad will sit Hepa here with 2.06 left in the half and the largest lead for the Bows. Mitchell weaving his way down the lane. It's one shot and out for Pepperdine. Well, they're doing a pretty good job, Hawaii, of containing the dribbler. But when you do drive into the lane, one thing you know is they're not going to help off shooters. That's why they're so good at defending the three. Well, Coleman. Bernardo De Silva attacks. Can't tip in the miss, and Houston Millet clears. So did a good job of getting to the rim, but drew some contact with no call. Jan Zedek finishes for Pepperdine, ends the drought. Almost four and a half minutes. Approaching a minute to go in the half. And a strong first half for the home team, Hawaii. Noel Coleman again. Got it up and in over Bubakar Kulabali. And a timeout for Hawaii. But somehow Coleman got it up and over the 6'10 sophomore, the transfer from USC, and a 14-point lead for the Bows. 
has been very impressive on both ends, and the guard play has been special. McClanahan and Coleman have done a great job of getting the ball in to the lane and not forcing the issue, but just waiting for the defense to make a mistake, and their defense has been terrific. Plus, they're shooting 52%. The Bows are 7 of 11 from 3 as Jan Zedek lost it out of bounds and in frustration. Heads back the other way. Well, I like what Iran Gannat did on that last possession. You know, he had the use it or lose it timeout. He didn't use it on the offensive end because he trusts his team to do the right thing. But then when they made the bucket, he called the timeout to set up his defense. Step back. Coleman thought about it. Still plenty of time on the shot clock. And a three launched and off the mark from the freshman, Harry Ruliadef. He's from Brisbane, Australia. And now Pepperdine can play for the last shot. Maxwell Lewis. Attacks. Lost it out of bounds. Now take us to halftime. Really good 20 minutes for the Rainbow Warriors. Yeah, real good deep team defense, and Maxwell Lewis has had trouble flying 10 threes per game. And attempts 24, and they're over five. I mean, that's that's really the difference. And Pepperdine really is not a three one shooting team. They don't take a lot. They don't make a lot. They only have seven per game. They already have seven. Is it Hawaii's defense, Tim, that's the reason that Pepperdine is having to run off the three-point line? Absolutely. They don't gamble, they don't help off shooters, and they've done a good job of keeping Pepperdine out of the lane. And there's a three to start the second half. You know Lorenzo Romar threw that one up on the grease board in the locker room at halftime. Well, McClanahan just un hawaii like kind of turned his head in on the ball and left his man open in the corner. So the first three of the night for Pepperdine, it's Mitchell. Mike Mitchell Jr. with seven points and a foul inside will send Bernardo De Silva to the line for UH. She did a good job on that previous possession. Pepperdine just kind of sliding into that open area. When he saw McClanahan kind of turn his head to the ball and not see both man and ball, he slid into that open area. McClanahan didn't know where he was. Bernardo De Silva, his first point of the night. He's now one for three for the line. The junior from Brazil who's battled some injuries in his Hawaii career. Originally committed to go to BYU. And then when he had a coaching change and Dave Rose retired and Mark Pope took over as that coach for BYU. De Silva opened up his recruitment and came to Hawaii. Now he's an important piece to Hawaii because with him and Kameka, Kameka Hepa, two good, strong forwards up front. And he goes, bounces around for Javon Porter, his first points of the night. Welcome sight for Lorenzo Romar to see Porter get into the act, the talented freshman. If you get the ball in the lane, you may find yourself with some opportunity if you're Pepperdine, because as we said, Hawaii will not help off shooters on ball side. Bernardo de Silva, the kick out. Jovan McClanahan had a good look, and the long rebound bounces out to Mike Mitchell Jr. Pepperdine pushes, and hustling Noel Coleman breaks up the pass intended for Houston Millet. Well, Pepperdine comes out of the locker room with kind of a renewed sense of urgency. Not only defensively doing a better job, but offensively moving the ball and sliding into open areas. Illegal screen, Carson Basham. And that's his third foul. Is he never really established himself as a screener? That backed into the defender out on the perimeter and. That was a good call by Amy Bonner. You know, just on the roll, he just backs up into McClanahan. That's a good call. So he'll sit with his third fouls. Bubakar Kulabali checks in for Pepperdine. Samuta so Vea steps out for a three. Eight threes for Hawaii tonight. 
Ubercar Koulibaly missing at the rim. Koulibaly got caught on a switch on that previous possession. And right now, there's Hawaii in a rhythm. 19, Noel Coleman gives Hawaii their largest lead of the night. And he's a terrific guard. He just keeps his dribble with his head up and just waits for that little opportunity just to find that sliver of opening at the rim. And a foul away from the ball, a hold against the Rainbow Warriors. You see Coleman, he just keeps his dribble. He waits, he waits until he finds a mismatch and an angle to the rim. Foul number two on Noel Coleman. I mean, he can over dribble, and everybody kind of watches as you call it a ball sticker, but that's anything but with Noel Coleman. What a spin move from Javon Porter. You, know, you see Porter's talent. He's starting to get a little bit more confidence here in the second half of driving and finishing at the rim. Short Bubakar Kulabali at his position inside grabs the rebound for Pepperdine. That did a good job of protecting it in the lane. The steal, Avea takes it away. Three on two. He'll pull up for three. And the rebound tip to Kamaka Hepa. There's with the size of the Silva and Hepa on the, in the interior, keeping it alive with that length. Maxwell Lewis, the drop off, and the dunk missed by Koulibaly. Gets the flyby, now Maxwell Lewis hits a three. So they missed the dunk and they end up with three. Well, the thing with Lewis is he just stays with the play. Avea's done a very good job of defending him so far tonight. So after no threes in the first half, that's two for Pepperdine in the first four minutes of the second half. Jump hook, Bernardo De Silva missing, and Mike Mitchell Jr. clears. Here comes Pepperdine. Silva didn't have great low post position. The steal, Kamaka Hepa racing up the floor. And Hepa uses those long arms on the defensive end he is very active and disruptive and just glides down the floor like a block like a guard maxwell lewis blocked by samutave lewis gets it back and he draws a foul we'll get to the line back and forth we go but hawaii in control they've led by as many as 16. therefore but for some reason, they stay for this event. Well, they know what a great charity this is. All coaches around the country have put many, many hours into coaches versus cancer. But Ron's, Ron, you can see tonight just what an excellent coach he is, but probably even a better guy. And you know, these coaches come down, fly all the way from different spots around the country. The GW was 11 hours to get here. but. And there's stress to the nines with three games in four days, but certainly uh, put some goodwill forward the other night here in Honolulu. Well, certainly two of the more picturesque campuses. Then you talk about the University of Hawaii and Pepperdine going toe to toe here. Considering that the beach is about a half a mile from the Firestone Fieldhouse, where Pepperdine plays their home games, as the well Coleman missing a three and the long rebound chased down by Bernardo da Silva. And the Stan Sheriff Center is a little over a mile, about a mile and a quarter to the closest beach from here, where we're at right now. And I think as an offensive foul against Hawaii is called, and we're going the other way, it's on Samuta Avea, his second. Well, Avea just used that left arm just to push off and gain a little ground on the baseline. Not sure, Ron, he had a better look at it maybe than the official agrees. But I believe the closest arena in college basketball to the actual beach as Maxwell Lewis splits a triple team and tries to scoop and miss. Here comes Hawaii. I believe it's at UC Santa Barbara, the Thunderdome. 
because you walk right off the back of the campus and you're on the beach in Santa Barbara, which is a Big West rival of Hawaii. Where Hawaii picked to come in second in the Big West this year as UC Santa Barbara picked to win and as Bernardo da Silva missing at the rim. And a long outlet pass and Houston Millette can't hang on. And a turnover by the Waves and Pepperdine's already played UC Santa Barbara this year and they lost it about a week and a half ago at home in overtime. Well, right now, Roxy, the defense of Hawaii has Pepperdine sped up. They're uncomfortable both in transition and in the half court and Maxwell Lewis is feeling the pressure. Amuta Avea has it knocked away, but he recovers. And Avea lays it in. Well, Avea just stayed with the play, almost lost it in the lane. He's, he's trying to post up. He and Maxwell Lewis have a terrific matchup going on. Step back, and a three for Mike Mitchell Jr. too much. And while Coleman clears, the Bulls run the floor, and De Silva lays it in, largest lead of the night for UH. Timeout, Lorenzo Romar and Pepperdine. Celtics, you mentioned it earlier. Celtics struggling, the Warriors struggling, and Steph Curry banged up right now. But Andrew Wiggins might be back for that matchup with Memphis. Well, the Celtics have lost three in a row at home, so gotta get that fixed quickly. Because you know how the Bostonians are. They're not known for their patience. Speaking of getting it fixed quickly, what does Pepperdine need to do to? Well, they need to free up some space on the offensive end. They just kind of a lot of one-on-one -on -one basketball right now, but they're, they're trying to do things off the dribble and try to somehow get Maxwell Lewis going because he has struggled because of the tight, tight defense of Pepper of Hawaii. Trail three missed by Kamaka Hepa, but a foul going for the rebound against the Waves. And that one is on Carson Basham, who's got four. Well, Hawaii's defense has been, been super impressive because they stay within their system. They take away, they force your sideline, they take away the paint, and then when you do get in the paint, they play with high hands, they don't overcommit, and they do not overhelp on ball side, especially off shooters. Off the inbound, and Maxwell Lewis blocks the shot of Harry. Ruined him. It's out of bounds. Inside 13 minutes to play. The winner will play Washington State, who had that dramatic victory over George Washington earlier tonight. And the loser will play GW tomorrow. Samutave is spinning. And a foul called on Malik Moore of Pepperdine. Samutave is Pretty good looking player. He is. We combined terrific defense on Maxwell Lewis. He has been matched up on him all night long. They don't switch. So he's been there. He's denied him. Lewis has gotten his buckets here and there, but he's had to work for him. But on the offensive end, Vea is very efficient. You know, just when you think it's going to be Coleman or Hepa, he takes the advantage of an opportunity within their offense. And the name Samuta, it comes from a mashup of his, where his parents are from. And his parents' roots are from Samoa and Utah. That's how you get Samuta. I like he it. He hits both free throws. Creativity, not only on the offensive end, but in his name bearing. Largest lead for the Rainbow Warriors, but Pepperdine trying to rally and get going. It's Houston Millett and one. Well, Millett is so explosive off the bounce. It's been few and far between that get these opportunities, and that's just high degree of difficulty and a little late foul by Coleman. Third on Coleman. So Millett, who's three for three from the line. Continues to stroke it from the stripe and gets the old school three point play. They've got to get some stops down here, Tim. And Will Coleman steps out to the corner. Pulled down by Beyond Riley. And Riley, before he went up, he traveled. 
Took a little slide backwards to get a good angle. He had this hustle. He came from the other side of the floor. A decent position to move into the winner's bracket in that second semifinal. Pepperdine has other ideas. And for the Rainbow Warriors, they have not won a game in this tournament since 2019. Now, they played only two last year. Samuta Avea drops it in off the inbound. He is just playing a terrific game. He's doing a lot of different things for Hawaii. And didn't get back and match up that time with Lewis, but he will be forgiven. The talent that Lewis is, he's got 17. Well, for Pepperdine to get back in the game, that's what they have to do. They have to try to run the ball up the floor on opportunity, and that one was after a make, surprisingly. But they've got to try to get some easy baskets. Kamaka Hepa underneath. And knocked out of bounds by Beyond Riley. It's a Pepperdine ball. So Hawaii only played two games in this tournament last year because the, the third one on Christmas Day was canceled because of COVID. As Hawaii had a COVID outbreak. And so the last game, and also the championship game last year wasn't played between Stanford and Vanderbilt because Stanford had COVID issues. As Maxwell Lewis the miss, and the loose ball, Samuta Bea tracks it down. There was no tournament in 2020 as the offensive foul on the charge against Hawaii and a turnover committed by the Rainbow Warriors. So the last time Hawaii won a game in this tournament, you got to go back to 2019 when they beat Utah in the first round in 2019. Well, Ranka not, not happy about those last couple possessions. That time, Hawaii a little too aggressive. Third foul on Samuta Vea. Now a block is called against Beyond Riley of Hawaii. Uh, Maxwell Lewis at times is a little bit too unselfish here, and Lorenzo Romar wants him to just be a little bit more aggressive and not worry about you know, always being unselfish, just attack with the talent. And it looks like in the last few possessions he said, I'm going to put my head down and get us back in this game. Aaron pass for Mitchell and a turnover by the Waves. Justice Jackson. Ten to shoot. Samutave lost the handle. And a run out for Pepperdine. Porter. And he is clobbered by Beyond Riley. And Porter a hard fall. After the nice crossover move by the freshman. And that will send Porter to the line. We see John Porter's ability to play almost like a small forward. Cross over the good footwork and that banged around a couple times, but good body control at the rim. Lorenzo Romar, you go back when he was at Washington. He recruited and Michael Porter Jr. was headed to Seattle to play for Lorenzo. And then Lorenzo got let go and Michael Porter Jr. reopened his commitment and Conzo Martin, who brought Michael Porter Sr. onto his staff at Missouri. And then Michael Jr. followed, and after he reopened his commitment, got out of his letter of intent, went to Mizzou. But Lorenzo goes back a long way with Michael Porter Sr. In fact, through the process and how close Lorenzo is with the family, Javon Porter said, unsolicited, I want to go play for Coach Romar at Pepperdine. Now he's certainly a guy you would want to play for, that's for sure. And just a proven winner, great recruiter, basketball coach, and Porter wanted to be with somebody that he knew, and that was an easy one. If you don't like Lorenzo Romar, there's something wrong with you, because there's not a better man, a nicer man, to be around than Lorenzo Romar. He's a little frustrated right now, which you can understand. Well, growing pains with a young team. You're on the road. It's not a traditional multi-team event because you're playing on someone's home court. One more for Beyond Riley. As Riley, a sophomore from Southern California, is the silver comes back for UH. 
you know, it, leading up to this game, Roxy, it was really who was going to impose their will with what they do best. We knew that Pepperdine, they want to shoot the three. And they shoot it at a high level. And Hawaii defends it at a high level. Porter for three. And Maxwell Lewis grabs it down low for Pepperdine. Leans in, draws the foul. And that's four on Samuta Avea with 9.34 to go. And Maxwell Lewis will head to the line. Well, that's, you see Maxwell Lewis's talent. He gets the ball, and Samuta Avea was defending him well, but just used that double pump fake and rose up with those long arms to draw the contact. 83% foul shooter is Lewis. One more coming. Maxwell Lewis is Kamaka Hepa will come back for a day who'll sit with the four fouls and 934 to go but just the talent look Pepperdine came in number five in the country in three-point field goal percentage over 40 percent and the trio of Lewis Millette and Mitchell they combine to shoot 47 percent outside the arc and they score more than half the points for Pepperdine. Well, it'll be interesting to see now if Lorenzo and Romar really gives Maxwell Lewis the green light because it'll probably be on Riley matched up against him in the half court. Here's Jackson. Fumble the ball away. Malik Moore. Porter drives. Porter underneath. And it spins out. And the rebound, Kamaka Hepa for UH. Well, just a really good move to the rim. But Porter, just a little slight of build. Got bumped in the lane. Caused the missed shot. That's something over time. When he gets stronger, that shot's going to go. Very impressed, though, with his ability to handle the basketball. Jackson from deep. And here comes Mike Mitchell Jr. for Pepperdine. Kamaka Hepa blocks the shot of Malik Moore. Lorenzo Romar wanted a foul down low. He thought he was hit on the wrist. And a timeout for the Rainbow Warriors. 8-12 to go. Hawaii trying to move into the semis. Lorenzo Romar and Pepperdine trying to find the rhythm staff. And Mark Godfrey. How about that coaching staff? Laugh back on the sidelines. San Diego. Put the head, of great places to be. Put the headset down and still with the fire in his belly. Approaching eight minutes to go. Hawaii is led by many as 19 tonight. Mike Mitchell, good read for the backside to steal it for Pepperdine. Well, Ron Gannat didn't like the last few possessions offensively, so he tried to settle his team down with that timeout. But Maxwell Lewis is on the attack, especially with Jose on the bench with four fouls. His sixth 20 point game of the season. This is game number 12 for Pepperdine. Pepperdine has picked up the pace not only offensively with Lewis, but down this end, doing a much better job keeping the ball out of the lane. Kamaka Hepa steps through the double team and missed, got his own rebound and laid it up and in. Oh, relentless. Just was not to be denied with those long arms and the soft touch at the rim. Houston Millette getting inside and draws the foul and one for Millette against Noel Coleman and for Coleman that's his fourth foul with 6.59 to go. It was a huge bucket down on the last possession by Peppa because Hawaii has been struggling and Pepperdine is kind of 
put their nose down now and felt like they need to get back in this game with just aggressive basketball play on both ends. And Millet showed you his toughness on that possession. 12 point game and Millet for an and one. So Coleman will have to sit with a four. Samuta Vea already on the bench with four fouls. And it's down to 12. And now an 11 point game is Millet, five of five from the strike. Well, both Millet and Lewis. Dad's locked in. Aggressive. Using their size advantage in the lane. Clear they're trying to go to Kamaka Hapa. to shoot Jovan McClanahan well challenged by Porter and then De Silva has it knocked out of bounds Pepperdine ball well, Pepperdine's defense in the last four minutes has been special it's, it's like a, a new team on the defensive end they're they're playing with toughness they're keeping the ball out of the lane they're denying on the low box that time Lewis was on a dead front on Hepa they couldn't get the ball inside and Pepperdine does have the firepower to come back they're one of the top three-point shooting teams in the country. They've struggled from outside the yard tonight. Porter goes inside. Can't get the roll. Justice Jackson clears. Here comes Hawaii. Porter's got to do a much better job of carving out space closer to the rim. Dion Riley. And forced to pass, trying to get it to Bernardo Da Silva. And that goes back over to Pepperdine inside six minutes now. Well, Riley had his mind made up whether De Silva was open or not, and he wasn't. There's been some empty possessions here that Iran Ganad's a little frustrated with from the Hawaii perspective. Because you're leaving the door open for Pepperdine. And a three from Malik Moore, and it's down to eight. Good job by Moore. And Lewis was defended well by Riley, but he gave the ball up to the perimeter, and Heppel was slow on the closeout. If you're on Gennad, Tim, what do you think about bringing Avea or Coleman back? Oh, you've got to wait. You've got to wait, because this, this game's still in your hands, but offensively, as you said, empty possession after empty. And Houston Millet, 8 nothing Pepperdine run. Timeout, Hawaii. 12-2 over a larger span for Pepperdine. And you want to take it out further, 18-5, considering they were down by as many as enough getting to the rim, but they're also unselfish. They will make the extra pass on the inside, but Coleman coming back in the game is important because, and he's back in the game now because he will just give everyone more confidence. He will draw the attention of the second defender and he will find the open man. And Samuta Avea also back in, so each playing with four. Kamaka Hepa sidesteps Maxwell Lewis. With plenty of time on the shot clock for the Bows. Well, Coleman to the basket. And a foul will send Coleman to the line. It's on Javon Porter, number two on the freshman Porter. Well, Coleman is so crafty. And Ron knows he's not going to just dribble drive into traffic and put his head down and commit a turnover with an offensive foul. He's going to wait, 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 and he's so good with both hands, and really Pepperdine did a good job of containing him. He just threw his body in the defender, not sure it was a foul, but it made, it looked like one, and he drew, got to the line. And he missed the first one. Normally reliable, 84% for the line this season for Coleman, who last year was second team all Big West. Leads Hawaii in scoring this year and in steals. The last couple of games struggled coming into tonight, but missed both. And it's a Pepperdine ball. Let's see if they go inside to Millet. Guarded by Coleman, see if they can draw a foul. And if that's on Avea, he's done. And a foul against UH, it is not on Samuta Avea. They get it on Bernardo De Silva, his second. But it is the double bonus, so two shots for Pepperdine with 4.36 to go. And it's Malik Moore, the freshman, 
limited opportunities, 60% from the line this year. And again, Noel Coleman, Samuta Avea, four fouls each. Moore, the freshman from Ventura, went to Heritage Christian. And his dad, Lee, played at Long Beach State. Well, the scout on Hawaii is you try to you have to try to make them feel uncomfortable. You have to be physical with them in the half court because they're such a good system offensive team that if you take them out of their rhythm, they become uncomfortable and maybe can go into some long scoring routes. And that's what's happening right now with Pepperdine in their defense. They have got up into Hawaii, and Hawaii is not confident right now getting the ball inside or getting into their rhythm by reversing the floor with good spacing. Malik Moore trims the lead even further. Ten straight for Pepperdine. And a foul on the drive. It's on Malik Moore. Third foul on Moore, not the double bonus, a one and one for Jovan McClanahan. McClanahan one for two from the line tonight, 82% on the season. Pepperdine, you've got to take a half step off, Jovan. McClanahan, he's not a real proficient three-point shooter, but he is good at getting in the lane. He's got a strong upper body, and he can uses that hesitation move to draw the fouls. And they're getting up into him, and he's finding a way to dribble, penetrate into the gaps. First points in over three minutes for the Bows. McClanahan, the miss, but Bernardo De Silva. What a huge lift for Hawaii. Sure how he got in there almost untouched no block out at all seven point rainbow warrior lead maxwell lewis and the long rebound of samuta van well it's interesting noel coleman comes back in the game and hawaii just gains confidence just his presence on the floor settles everything down back door noel season high well, running things through their two best players help us so unselfish step back Maxwell Lewis bounced about four times before it fell off and it belongs to Hawaii is the Rainbow Warriors trying to get the mojo back Browns lit up they're playing that defense something about playing in the Hawaiian Airlines Diamond Hit Classic that brings out the best in Noel Coleman he is a terrific player, you know. Lefties are usually guys that are strong left. But he is good with both hands, plays with balance, never tries to do too much within the system, and plays off Hepa as well. Tracked down by Avea, still plenty of time. on McClanahan. Dribble pull up. And the rebound. Mike Mitchell grabs it and he's fouled. And with 2.56 to go, Pepperdine's got a couple of shots at the other end. Well, that drives you crazy if you're a coach because you've got the nine-point lead. Just run back and play defense. There's no reason to get involved with extracurricular activity right there. And Hepa, that's a mistake that young players make. And, and you don't want to take the aggressiveness out of your players, but you also have to understand time and score and make Pepperdine earn everything with the clock running. One more as it rolls in for Mike Mitchell Jr. Right, commit a foul 85 feet from the basket. You know, that's a no-no. Commit your fouls at the rim to protect the basket, but that's it. And you stop the clock and allow Pepperdine to get points. Seven-point lead. The Makahepa, and it's picked off. Well read by Javon Porter. It worked before for Hawaii. That time, Pepperdine was ready for it. And now Maxwell Lewis rattles out, and it's tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Pepperdine. 
Well, Javon Porter's missed a few of those tonight, and those are weight room baskets that he'll make throughout his career as he puts a little bit more steam on his body, but he is a talented player. How about the rebound edge? 39-20 tonight for Hawaii. Jamal McClanahan gets inside. McClanahan from deep. And a three for Jovan McClanahan. Now that's a smart offensive possession. Wait, wait, wait. Use the clock. Wait for the defense just to make even the smallest mistake. Take advantage. His second three of the night. Back to a double-digit lead. Now a Pepperdine giveaway. Jovan Ganad motioning to Javon McClanahan. Slow it down. Run some clock. Wait for Pepperdine to overextend, maybe make a mistake and get an easy basket. And draws the foul. Then gets the wedgie. Two shots for McClanahan, but that last possession for Hawaii just beat the shot clock. Wow, this is just good basketball and well, Coleman understanding he got jammed up there. Dribble drove into the gap, finding McClanahan on the perimeter. Missed now McClanahan, two for five from the strike. One more shot. McClanahan, Coleman have come up big down the stretch. Does Pepperdine have enough to make another push at UH? Well, they do, but they've got to be patient. They can't over rush things, but here they're just trying to race it up the court. They've got to try to run things through Lewis, see if he can draw the defense, but that's another good move by Porter. Javon Porter with the bucket. 69-60. And a foul on the inbound, and it's on Mitchell. The third on Mitchell. 113 to go. McClanahan's three for six for the line, heading back to the stripe. And that's not necessarily the worst thing in the world for Pepperdine, just because I know McClanahan on the season is usually reliable 82%, but he has struggled a bit for the line tonight. Well, that's a good foul, I think. You know, you've got to extend the game. There's only so many possessions left. You, you've got to try to extend the game at some point and just hope they miss. But you know, they've had issues rebounding missed free throws as well. Now four for seven from the line. And McClanahan hits both. On the drive, Houston Millette lays it in. That was quick for Pepperdine to get it up and get two. And now off the inbound, and a flop technical against Pepperdine. Houston Millett called for the flop. Now that was as delayed call as I've seen in a while. I mean, it's absolutely the elbow and shoulder is extended here. Well, Coleman gets the free throw. It's tied a season high with 22. A lot of pressure on the officials though, with this new rule. I like it. You're trying to take the flops out of the game, but you can't call everyone. Or else the game turns into a flopping contest of technical fouls and free throws. And... Are you in favor of the flopping rule in general? You know, I, I think that one just call it foul on the defender. And that'll clean it up. Or just don't call any. Right. A lot of years without the flop call. And the game was pretty good. Samuel Van blocked at the rim by Javon Porter. Transition three and a foul. And three shots for Malik Moore. As Bernardo da Silva ran out the shooter. Malik Moore will shoot threes, two for two for the line tonight. Stops the clock with 36.6 remaining. 
You have the 10 point lead. You're just trying to get out of here without any mental mistakes. And that's why he just committed a couple on both ends. Two for two this trip. One more for Moore, who is now tied a young career high. The freshman's got seven. He's had seven in a couple of games already this season. It makes this one a good new career best. And he goes three for three. So eight points for Malik Moore. Seven point game. Still 36.6. And a foul committed by Millet. That's the first on Houston Millet. So 35.2 to go. And Jovan McClanahan back to the line for UH. Well, Jovan McClanahan has played a real good game tonight. He's an undersized point guard when you look at the size of Pepperdine's guards, but he has battled all night long, controlled the pace in the half court offensively, and played real good on ball defense. He's got 14 now, career best of 15 earlier this year, and an overtime loss to Yale for Jovan McClanahan. Not really known for his scoring. He's come up with some big shots tonight. Now it's tied at career high. Maxwell Lewis glides in. Too much on it. And then Lewis gets it back. Gets the roll. 74, 67, 23 for Maxwell Lewis. And now over the top. Pepperdine steals. Porter. Three. Four-point game, and a foul by Mike Mitchell, Jr., a colossal mistake on the turnover by Hawaii, and Pepperdine gets a three. Here's what happened. The play was dead, and Hawaii could be staring at being 7-2 and two right now instead of 6-3. and three. Well, that one's a tough one to swallow, but you know, going back to Lorenzo's strategy here down the stretch, you know, he's... He trusted his team to get in the press quickly instead of calling timeout. And calling timeout, you can get your press organized, but that also allows your opponent to get themselves organized and kind of take a deep breath and let the coach say, here's what we need to do in this situation. Javon McClanahan now a career high. And he hits both. He's got 17. Two possession game. Mitchell races up the floor. Here's Moore, a deep three. And that's all. Picked up Maxwell Lewis, fumbled it out of bounds. Hawaii ball with 3.6 to go. I uh, give Pepperdine a lot of credit. They looked like they were dead in the water and made a game of it here in the last seven minutes of this game. First, they turned on the heat defensively and then really did a good job getting the ball to the roof. Trailing by as many as 19, they cut it. Almost all the way down, but Hawaii had enough to hold them off. Well, I did, and they'll look.